Hi folks, I'm Corey. Today we learn a new word, serendipity. Not just a bad movie. As you know, it's been many sleepless nights and as many restless days, constantly on the hunt. Cashew! Excursions to the edge of the culinary abyss and beyond. I've tried to embrace inferior food, but all for naught. I've relentlessly contacted President's Choice in pursuit of rekindling their sense of decency. And while I appreciate their diligence, I was expecting something more than a restraining order. Still no word on a renaissance. Still no autographed picture of Galen Weston. To hang over my lunchtime dining space as I'm crying into whatever crappy substandard entree catches my ever-wandering eye. But I digress. For today we encounter a wave of renewal. When I looked into the fridge and saw no orange juice to be found, I ventured out to the local metro. But being past 10, it was closed! Undeterred, I made my way to Superstore to stroll the empty aisles looking for pulp-free OJ. And then I thought, maybe some toaster strudels for the kids. Which brought me by the slimmest chance to the dreaded frozen food section. Where my heart routinely falls out of my body and crashes lifeless to the floor. And then something familiar caught my eye. It was almost like a dream. Could it be? Three Lonely boxes of cashew chicken. Ugh. Clearly this was some kind of cruel hoax. I looked around for the crew, the camera, a laughing Ashton Kutcher, but punked I was not. It was true. Nice entree. I've missed you so. We have so much catching up to do. But then I thought, why only three? And like a snowball in a schoolyard, it hit me. They're messing with me. This is the President's Choice team, unable to return my beloved entree full time, but now they've hidden small amounts in various locations intent on driving me insane. It's almost too simple. But what the heck, I'll take it. Now I have a few bases covered. My retirement meal when the golden years beckon. And of course a last meal if I'm ever charged with a Capital offense? But after I seal them in their special vault, what to do in the meantime? Keep on looking, I suppose. <laughs> so join me as we go in search of the next cashew chicken. So equally mysterious to this sudden frozen cache of gold, a colleague was kind enough to alert me to the fact that Walmart, the home of the blue smock, sells a frozen entree with the intriguing title, Cashew Chicken. What? Oh, Walmart, you may have lousy potato chips and some genuinely dubious business practices. Actually, that's all I needed to say. You can sell 12 turnovers for five bucks, but can you carry the mantle of cashew chicken? We'll see. It's a mighty portion at 350 grams, 400 calories big, and 670 milligrams of salt. But the biggest concern, a shellfish warning on the back of the box. An oyster shellfish warning. Now I could sneak into Sutton's house and induce hives from a distance, but the children. Now they helpfully indicate that this entree contains cashews. Who knew? Also sesame seeds, soy, and wheat. Plus, may contain peanuts, milk, egg, fish, mustard, sulfites, other tree nuts not listed. Clearly they haven't got a clue. There might be zebra meat in this. Mmm, zebra. Uh, no, no, no. But never being one to shrink from a challenge, even one as randomly ingredienteded as this. Strap me in and let's heat it up. Now I'm really of two minds here because the box looks very similar to the traditional cashew chicken. <coughs> and yet the smell of oyster is killing me. Cool how it says inspired by China, like you know, most other Walmart products. Although the box does say made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. Fancy! I'm gonna give them points on presentation here because we've got the, the rice in a little separate thing here. 
Not exactly a ramekin, but uh, its own little portioned compartment here. And we've also got the cashew chicken, which uh, looks to have a, uh, a sort of a beigey sauce. Uh, there's uh, snow peas, like in the original. There's some rather substantial chunks of celery here, which I'm a little uncertain about. And uh, I gotta say, the oyster thing is uh, is giving me some some cause for concern. Does this mean it's too fishy? I'm gonna try a snow pea here because that's what always did it for me at the beginning of the other cashew chicken entrees. So let's see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, the fishy taste is pretty solid. Not in the good way. Might have some higher hopes for the chicken here. The the portioning looks it's 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 meaty, it's got a good size to it. There's quite a bit of chicken in here, so I mean 350 grams. Let's see where we're at. The chicken's moist and tender, and if it wasn't being overwhelmed by the uh, vaguely kind of fishy smell, but but really more the smell of like I think too much five spice powder in this, uh, might actually be uh, more enjoyable. That was Whew. Let's uh, try a little bit of chicken with a little bit of rice. A little surf and turf, not really. The rice is okay, reminiscent of the rice I've grown to know and love. Not too flaky, not too spongy and, and soft and gross. Okay, we're going for a combo fork here. This is going to be snow pea cashew chicken. Wish me luck. I gotta say, my eyes are saying yes, yes, yes. And my palate's saying... <laughs> But my sense of adventure is saying, keep going. Got red peppers and celery, but they're pretty limp and, and soggy. So lots of sauce, but that doesn't always give the best results with vegetables. That said, flavor of the red peppers almost undercuts the flavor of the sauce, which is uh, uh, kind of a point in its favor. Let's try and get some red pepper onto a, onto a piece here with some chicken. If you like cashews, you'd be in great shape. Uh, of course, if you're allergic to peanuts or tree nuts not otherwise specified, you'd be dead now. Well, I'm kind of torn today. It's uh, It's been a little bit up, a little bit down. Three boxes of heaven and a heated tray of purgatory. I'm not gonna lie, I so want to love this. Why, President's Choice? Why? Still, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth here. As much as I'm wanting to love that entree, unless there's a way to temper the sauce and you know maybe add some soy to it or something, uh, make it uh, probably a little more salty, but kind of overwhelm a little bit of that, that fishy flavor. Uh, I don't think this is quite going to do it. So the next cashew chicken, it's a cashew chicken. It's definitely not the cashew chicken. And it sure ain't the next cashew chicken. Kudos at least to, to Walmart for giving it a try. I'd be remiss to not point out the garnish because I don't know what it is. It's like a tiny, tiny vine. This is kind of an event to celebrate. It's not every day you find three loose boxes of cashew chicken sitting around. So this seems like the time we'd want to break out a a Merlot, or drop some money on a really good port. And until I win the lottery, and those things are an option, uh, I'm gonna go with a daring recommendation with the white Zinfandel from the Gallo family, with the convenient screw cap. President's Choice, you are under my command. Bring back cashew chicken. So good try, kudos to Walmart, thanks for coming out. Uh, in the meantime, and until next time, bon appetit, and the quest continues.